first stop, a romantic winery and vineyard in New Lisbon, about an hour north of Madison along I-90. The sprawling vineyards at Burr Oak Winery produce 50 different grape varieties and a wine tasting adventure. Yes, you can have a little bit of Napa Valley right here in Wisconsin. Start with an intimate yet social way to see and taste what Burr Oak Winery has to offer. Take a small group wagon ride through the lovely rows of grapevines and really experience the whole winemaking process. It's agriculture tourism at its best. Agriculture and tourism being two major industries in Wisconsin, I have to believe that ag tourism is bigger than ever here in Wisconsin. We are the hot, hot place to be right now in ag tourism. As you can tell, we're out here experiencing things, and, and that's what agritourism is all about. People want to come out and experience things. They want to take that picture with their phone and get it on Facebook right away, and social network with their friends and tell them all the great times they're having. And families are able to do it with multi-generations at the same time, and that's what makes ag tourism unique. It's a very simplified way to have fun with the entire family. This is how I want to spend my Saturdays. <laughs> Cheers I'll to do that. that. I'll do this every time. <laughs> It's a concept these ladies totally get. They're a family of 17 cousins out on a quick day trip. Why not come to a winery who doesn't love wine? Right. It's just the girls and let's hang out. No kids, no husbands, just the girls. <laughs> Leave the boys at home and go to a winery. Yeah. I like this girl. So why the winery? It's beautiful. There's wine and it's just, it's very relaxing. It's very charming. Steve Kennedy is the owner and steward of the land. His family winemaking business is truly his passion. He enjoys showing people his traditional winemaking practices that produce high quality wines. It's all about the land, the process, and the people. We meet the neatest people of any business that there is. Uh, people who, all the stick in the muds in the world don't come to wineries. and. Uh, you know, we just meet all the people that come here are the kind of people that you'd like to go out for supper with. Steve will tell you all about the glaciated soil on his land, as well as his farming practices and the tools he uses to produce the diverse selection of wines he sells. How does he know when grapes are at their peak ripeness? He measures the sugar content. We have a little refractometer that you put a drop of grape juice on, hold it up to the light, and it'll tell you what the sugar level is. Now this particular variety right here is about 20% sugar. 20% is a good, a good sugar level. Uh, for red wines you want, uh, you know, 22, 24, 25% sugar. For whites, uh, you want 18, 19, 20% sugar. And how does he overcome the challenges, like hungry grape-loving birds that steal the crop? This device emits a distressed bird sound that keeps the otherwise welcome creatures away. Burroke Winery is open for wine tasting and sales year round, but fall is a special season. The Harvest Festival is held one weekend every September. There's also the Lucy Stomp Contest, modeled after an I Love Lucy episode. Check out this winner, contestant number three. I need a high five up top, because you rocked it, Lucy, number three. Thank you. <laughs> What's your secret? Oh, I grew up with Lucy, so I'm kind of a fan of hers. I had the red hair ready, and I have the dress in my closet. We get their emails, so we knew about their fall fest, and came up for the tastings, and buy more wine, of course, and uh, see the grape stomping that they just did out there. The retail room is open for sales and tasting daily. Plus, there's a big European looking room for meetings, wine club events, you name it. Make sure you check out the stained glass windows too. They were acquired from the auction of a church built in the 1800s. From the vineyards to the retail room, I find Burr Oak Winery delightful. It's a new winery experience. This is very, very different. It's very laid back, very comfortable, um, very friendly. It's, it's, uh, it's easy, just kind of easy. It's, a, it's an easy place to be.